Greetings YouTube, Mr. Sif here with Camper Killer Commentary number 31, and today I thought it would be fun if we all went 31 years into the future together, but that's such a long travel that we might get lost, so we're gonna need a compass, and I choose to use the views of a very intelligent man, so sit back and enjoy the ride to 2045 through the eyes of a man named Ray Kurzweil. I submit for your approval the Director of Engineering at Google, Ray Kurzweil, using his noodle to tell you the future, cause he's a futurist, inventor, author, and also a scientist. His giant list of accomplishments can't be beat. Invented CCD scanners and text-to-speech and OCR text recognition. And that'll get you a medal from President Clinton. He's also known for predicting the future of technology by observing its evolution and gauging its velocity. He can see the future, like looking through a Terran time, using Moore's Law and four other paradigms. He's a hero of mine, design tech for the blind. It's hard to find a brighter mind who speaks with such clarity on subjects so dear to me, like augmented reality, immortality, and of course the singularity. What we gonna see if we survive? 31 more years of being alive. What will we be if we don't die before 2045? What will it be like when machines come alive? Will they better our lives? Will they enter our minds? Will we all combine to form one big supercomputer? Hey Ray, hey, show them the future. Well, by 2020, we'll have computers that are powerful enough to simulate the human brain, but we won't be finished yet with reverse engineering the human brain and understanding its methods. Uh, by 2029, we'll have reverse engineered and modeled and simulated all the regions of the brain, and that will provide us the software, algorithmic methods to simulate you know, all of the human brain's capabilities, including our emotional intelligence, and computers at that time will be far more powerful than the human brain. By 2045, we'll have expanded the intelligence of our human machine civilization a billion fold. That will be singularity. 2017, cars drive on their own, and you don't even have to own one, just pick up a phone. 2018, you get a personal assistant, convincing you it's human when it's just a search engine. 2020, nobody ever really gets fat, they just turn off your genetic receptors for that. And at the same time, nobody's out shopping for clothes, because your 3D printer prints your wardrobe at home. 2023, full immersion reality, with nanobots merging with your brain and capillary. 2030, we grow meat like plants. World hunger becomes a thing of the past. 2033, all our energy now comes from the sun. Welcome to the solar-powered revolution. 2040, everyone's young. As the door to immortality finally opens. What will we see if we survive? 31 more years of being alive. Some scientists say that we will die. But Ray Kurzweil says we'll be alright. What will it be like when machines come to life? When the robot of your dreams might be your wife? And we'll all live side by side in a digital future. And we'll all reside inside a giant computer. Now I know I'm just some loser playing a first person shooter and that a lot of people criticize Ray's views on the future. But Kurzweil's been making predictions for a while. I mean, heck, he even predicted the internet. He even predicted the exact year a computer would be the champion at chess. And let's not forget, he also predicted the collapse of the Soviet Union. So I'm assuming he couldn't care less how you view him. I guess all I could say is no matter how you see Ray, there's no denying he's one hell of a human. So thanks, Ray, for everything you've done for us and everything you will do in the future. You're a great guy, and I'd love to shake your hand in 2045. Thanks for watching. Peace.